David, two players signed today. Um, great business for Gloucester. Um, how happy are you to get both uh, Franco and Ruin in? Yeah, obviously delighted to have signed another two top quality, um, proven international players. I think we've, we've said all along um, that we wanted to start every season with a stronger squad than we did the previous season. And I think adding Franco and Ruan to that, the mix that we've really got put together um, gives us a very strong pack, but overall squad for the start of the year. Franco was announced first. Some people might have thought after Gabrantz Grobler was announced last week that you might not be in the market for another lot. Clearly you were. Yeah, I suppose over the course of the last 12 months, it's been a case of Johan getting to know the players that we have, um, us sitting down there and working out where we feel we can really strengthen the squad. If you look at for next season, we're going to be playing Premiership Rugby and Champions Cup. So we know how, how strong a squad we're going to need. We know in particular... We know how important our pack is going to be to be able to compete in both competitions. So very much our focus has been strengthening our, our squad, replacing some of the players that have left, but also making sure that the quality that's coming in will allow us to compete and perform in both those competitions. And looking at Ruan, I mean, is he a direct replacement, if you like, for John Ofoa? He is. John, with the way that John's played and performed here over the course of the last four years, the next person coming, it's going to be a hard job to replace um, the impact that John has had, but we're very confident Again, another player that Johan knows very well from his Lions days. Um, he's performed um, very well in Super Rugby over the course of the last few seasons. So we're very confident that he will come in and um, not just be able to compete again in set piece, but also the attributes that he has in terms of the game we want to play, the style of game we want to play, that he's got the ability to add to that. And how much easier has your job of recruitment been made by the personality of Johan Ackerman that all right, there's a lot of South African signings, but people want to play for Johan. They do, and you've seen that throughout the course of the year, even in terms of the way our team has played since, since Johan arrived. Look, this has been a, probably a unique year in terms of recruitment because we have a number of players who've come from, from the Lions. Um, that has its advantages in that they know the style of play that we, we're, we're going to continue with next season. They know Johan very well. I think they've all said in their releases and in, in their, their, their quotes that Johan has had a huge impact on them, not just in terms of what happens on the pitch, but in the impact he has on them off the pitch and, and um, the um, how he sets the standards and how they, they've enjoyed playing for him. So I have no doubt that they'll come in, adapt very well and um, settle into the Premiership. Obviously, they'll have to settle in with their new teammates, presumably as well. They've got to finish the Super League season before they can join up with Gloucester. Yeah, that's always the, the difficult balance for us. We're, coming, we're starting pre-season again on the 20th of June. None of those players who we've brought in will be available um, until after Super Rugby campaign ends. And for anybody who might be involved in the Rugby Championship with South Africa, um, it may be slightly later than that. So there's an, an element of uncertainty around at this stage exactly when they'll arrive. But we all we know that they will be in place for the start of the Premiership, with the exception of anybody who's involved in that Rugby Championship. Looking a bit further afield, um, obviously you're signing players with international experience. There's a World Cup coming up. Might they have to be released for that? Because I think South Africa can select players you know, abroad for the World Cup, can't they? Yeah, from, from a club point of view, we've said all along, we want to see Gloucester players representing their countries at an international level. That, that, that shows, if, if we can get players to that level, the quality of play that we have will be reflected in winning games out here. The World Cup year is slightly different because of the way the start point for a World Cup season isn't until... Um, middle of October. So yes, there is a risk, or not a risk, but there isn't a chance that players who, whether they're playing for England, um, South Africa, they may be away for the early part of the season. But but again, as I said, from, from, from a club point of view, we want to see as many Gloucester players as possible playing in the Rugby World Cup next season. And actually, if you're signing foreign players and there is that chance for them still to play in the World Cup, that's going to be reassuring for them that it's not going to scupper their chances. It is, and players that you bring in, a lot of them want to still play international rugby. The ambition of every rugby player is to play for their country. And I think if we can perform at that high level and Gloucester continue to produce performances um, and compete at the right end of the Premiership, we will more and more see players here playing here, playing in those international colours. Talking of international colours, Jason Woodward on a plane to South Africa on Saturday. How richly deserved is that? Hugely. I think anybody who's watched Gloucester knows that he's been the spark behind so many of the good things that we've done throughout the course of the season. Um, I think we were all disappointed when he wasn't selected there in, in the initial squad. But it's about this time of year, there are some injuries. He will now get the opportunity. And it's something that when he came across to England um, a couple of seasons ago, it was very much part of his plan. He, he, his ambition was to play play for England. And we're, from a club point of view, delighted 
to see that he's there and hopefully we'll get a chance in South Africa. Finally on recruitment, are you done now or might there still be one or two more? Yeah, I think when you're putting together a squad, there are always you're always looking at opportunities that might come up um, to strengthen your squad. As I said, we will need a really, really strong squad going into next season with the two competitions that we're trying to compete in. But we're also very confident that we've got a really, really good group of young players who are coming through. We've said all along, while we're, we're recruiting some top-line foreign international players, equally important to us for the medium to long term is making sure that these young players get the opportunity to play. Johan has shown this year he will pick players, regardless of their age, regardless of their reputation, regardless of their international status. If they're playing and training well, they will get picked and get an opportunity to play at King's Home. And I think going into to, to next season, we know we need a squad that's strong. We, we've rebuilt a lot of our pack, we've brought in a lot of forwards, but we also know that to, to, to compete right across these competitions, we need to be strong throughout the team.